Hello, Bees Bladers! Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. Guess what? Bostied just released a new knife. I know, shocker, right? We're gonna check it out right now. This is the Bostied Corsair. Would you look at it? Just look at it and all of its Corsairness. I'm not sure where the name comes from. Does it really matter at this point? Uh, check it out. Um, so it has really good micarta. The micarta feels uh, very nice, very, very nice. It has like a medium texture to it. It does feel nice and tactile. This is a crossbar lock. And ooh, while we're up here, check it out. A really nice pivot collar on that pivate. And yes, I'll tell you more about this here in just a second. I have some pros and cons, but first let's get this blade out. You ready? Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh yeah, check it out. It's the Corsair. So you got a stonewash blade, and look at this. The blade steel, Nitro V, baby. That's what I'm talking about. And if you forget what your knife's name is, it's written or typed or stamped right there behind the thumb stud. And while we're looking at the thumb studs, check them out. They do work very well for this knife. They have the perfect amount of grip. And speaking of grip, how about the jimp? Do we have grimp on the jimp? Grimp? Jimp? Grippage? We have grippage on the jimpage. Yes, it does have some good grip. But back and back out, let's go from one end down to the other. We have a nice swedge on the top here. Nice, strong tip, and check it out. This bad boy is 16 thousandths behind the edge, so it is nice. I mean, it starts out with a nice, slicey grind. You have plenty of room here for sharpening. You have a captive pivot. And like I said, it's a lock bar. And look at this. Recessed liners. That's what I'm talking about. And look at all that milling. Tons of milling. But there is something I'm going to tell you about them here in just a minute. So watch out. And if you come down here, it comes with, look at this. If you like a lanyard, you do have the option of putting a lanyard on this bad boy. I had it on and then I took it off and then I was like, oh, I need to make the video. I'm like, I'm not taking it apart again to put it back on. But it comes with this back spacer and the pin and the two screws and the filler tab right here. Now one thing about the filler tab, I will note that it is not flush with the scales. So if you're a nitpicker, that might be a nitpick. Um, you can't feel it, it doesn't really bother me. I mean you can feel it if you're going like this, but it doesn't affect how it feels in your hand or the operation. And then checking out this side going all the way down, nice and clean, there's your stone wash. And then as you can see, yes, it is a captive pivot. And you know, I really do like the pivots on Vosti. They just look so good. And there's your deepish carry pocket clip. No mushrooms growing in the shade. You have flat screws, baby. And, and, but wait, there's more. <laughs> it's inset into the liners. So that is the perfect way to do it. And it's reversible. So there's total lefty love. This is a completely ambidextrous knife. And as I was saying, because, you know, I got sidetracked, there's your little backspacer. It'll come right out the back right there. And you get it. it basically, this is the effect you get. Uh, kind of like that right there. You have a little bit of texturing, kind of like micro micarta gems. Yeah, that's what we'll call it. It's micarta gems, but that looks pretty cool. Um, I'm not a big, big fan myself, so yeah, I left it out. Overall, this bad boy is 7.6 inches long. You have a 3.24 inch long blade, and your sharpen length is about 3.1 inches. And this is a lightweight contender weighing in at 2.92 ounces, so it's below the three ounce mark. And how does the edge feel right out of the box on a piece of a paper? Oh, you, did you hear that? Oh, 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 yes, that, is what I'm talking about. It is super sharp, especially if you like to cut paper. But in all seriousness, it is a nice, clean factory edge. And in case you didn't know, the factory edge, it could be great, it could not be great. And after you sharpen it yourself, you're gonna get even a better edge. That is, depending upon your sharpening skills. We'll leave that for a little bit of talk at Live at the Hive on Friday nights. Don't forget, Bees Blades, Live at the Hive, every Friday night, 8.15 to 11.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Don't miss it. We'll talk about this knife and all the other ones on the channel, but check it out. Look at this, the deployment, is super good. I mean, this is an everyday carry knife. It's an EDC user. When you throw in your pocket, it's like, it's totally like almost like weightless, dude. But really, it's super snappy. It's easy to deploy. You can reverse flick it. And on the inside, you can adjust the tension on this lock bar, which is very nice. Very, very nice. So if you like a little more tension or <laughs> I don't like 
tension. I like easy peasy, lemon squeezy, but I digress. Um, it has great action. There's nothing I can say negative about the action. I have no nitpicks whatsoever. It's easy to deploy, easy to put back in your pocket. It's in and out of the pocket very well. Now, as far as my ergos, you know, my hand is four inches, three and a half. And then from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. And then here's something that when I was giving it the old squeeze, as if I'm going to cut some cardboard, and I have a really good grip on it. The ergos are good. Good. However, I do have a couple things to mention. On the inside back here, you do not have a standoff or like a barrel spacer or any type thing. So when you squeeze it, I, I haven't decided if it's a good or a bad thing, and it may not be either, but you could see here that there's nothing holding it solid. But I've, I've, I haven't decided because when I squeeze it, it's almost like I kind of like the squishiness. <laughs> I don't I don't know that it takes away from any integrity whatsoever, but it is something to mention. If that's something that you don't like, that might be something worth thinking about or pondering about. So you can do that. You can see squishing it down that I can go like that. It does bounce right back. It, it doesn't affect anything. And I almost kind of like how it gives into my hand. Now on the inside, right in here, on the outside, it's nice and soft. On the inside here, it's a little 90 degree ish kind of not sharp but it is very abrupt and you know if you have a little bit of, a little bit of meat on your bones um, if I go like this and I'm squeezing it like I'm pushing through something I'll show you what my hand looks like here I do have this place right in the middle where I'm feeling where it's probably this my this being squeeze this squeezing my fingers just a little bit other than that if I'm choked back way back here to use this thumb ramp then I am filling the pocket clip it makes the pocket clip very well known and it is a warm spot in my hand with my size hand. Now, this grip, I like this grip. You can use this for a little bit of utility cutting, but it's not its not necessarily a utility cutter. It's just a great everyday carry size blade. It has that classic drop point shape and it kind of swoops up just a little bit. Kind of makes a spot for your finger to go. You know, if you're cutting open an apple or cutting an orange in the morning. And if you want to use this bad boy in the reverse grip, the reverse grip is the most comfortable grip for me. And yes, it does squeeze in when I'm squeezing it with my hand. So over Overall, I would say if you have a small or a medium sized hand, this is probably going to be the most comfortable. With me having a large width hand and holding it back here and using this thumb ramp as I believe it was designed for, and by the way, this jimping is done absolutely great. The jimping does a great job of stopping my thumb. It just, my hand is a little large, I think, for this handle, and it's putting that pocket clip right where I don't necessarily want it. And these bad boys come in black green, blue, and brown. And I will have links in the description and in the comment section if you want to go check it out some more, get some more statistics about this bad boy. And also how much it costs, because I'm sorry, I do not know how much it costs. It's not posted on the site. When this video is posted, it will be posted. But I'm filming this before I even know how much it costs. So you could, you could click one of the links and go check it out to see how much the price. I don't think it's going to be unreasonable. Vasti always has great prices. They have great customer service. I don't have, I have nothing but great things to say about Vostein. I love their knives. They have some on sale right now. I'll put that down below so you can check that out too. But I hope you enjoyed checking out this beautiful knife, the Corsair. And if you like this knife or you know a friend that would like to see this knife or Bees Blades content, share this video with them. And until I see you again, go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy that. And then until I see you in the chats or the live streams or the hive streams on Friday nights, remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.